Hey guys, welcome to vdchacademy.com. And here in this presentation, we are going to discuss the lateral surface area of cylinder. And in this video, we are going to discuss this topic under three sections. So here, first we are going to discuss definition, then the formula to find lateral surface area, and then we are going to discuss few examples. So first, let us define the lateral surface area. So here, lateral surface area is the area of all the sides of an object. And it doesn't include the areas of top and bottom surface of an object. And now, let me explain this using a rough diagram of cylinder over here. So here, there is a cylinder in which the top and the bottom surfaces are circles and the side portions are curved. So here lateral surface area includes this area and the areas of top and bottom circles are not included. And then coming to the formula to find lateral surface area of cylinder. So lateral surface area of cylinder is given by just multiplying the perimeter of base into its height. So here perimeter of the base that is perimeter of circle which is equal to 2 pi r into the height h. So we get 2 pi r h square units as the lateral surface area of cylinder. And here there is a rough diagram of cylinder where the lateral surface area is given by multiplying the perimeter of base that is circumference of the circle over here into the height and this is the height h of the cylinder. And now let me explain few examples. So here the first example is if radius of the base of the cylinder is one two third of height of the cylinder and the lateral surface area is equal to 4620 centimeters square then find radius and height. So here given r equal to 1 2 by 3 times of height. So first let us assume height equal to h and so that we get radius equal to 3 into 1 that is 3 plus 2 5 h by 3. So here this is the radius and then we are given with lateral surface area is equal to 4620 and we also know the formula to find the lateral surface area that is 2 pi r h and then substituting the values of r and h in the formula we get 2 into 22 by 7 that is the value of pi into r that is 5 h by 3 into h and by multiplying all the terms in the numerator we get 220 divided by 21 h square and now we can equate this lateral surface area that is 220 divided by 21 h square to the given lateral surface area that is 4620 and in order to get the value of h square transferring all the terms to the right hand side we get h square is equal to 4620 divided by the denominator 220 into 21 and here by simplifying we get 221 time is 220 and 220 21 times is 4620 so here we get h square is equal to 21 square so that implies we can write height h equal to 21 centimeters and now let us substitute the given value of h in the radius so here we get r equal to 5 into the value of h that is 21 divided by 3 and here by simplifying we get 3 1 time is 3 and 3 7 times is 21 and then multiplying the terms 5 and 7 we get the result over here as 35 centimeters as the radius and then coming to the next example where radius of the base and the height of the cylinder are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 and the value of radius is 21 centimeters so find lateral surface area so here we are given with radius equal to 21 centimeters and the height will be 2 third of radius that is 21 into 2 by 3 and here by simplifying we get 3 1 time is 3 and 3 7 times is 21 and then multiplying 7 and 2 we get the result as 14 centimeters which is the height and here we have to find the lateral surface area 
which is given by the formula 2 pi r h square units. And then substituting the values of pi n, r and h in the formula, we get 2 into 22 divided by 7, the value of pi, into the value of radius, that is 21, into the height 14. And here by simplifying, we get 7 1 time is 7 and 7 2 times is 14. And here by multiplying 2 into 22, we get 44 into 21 into 2, that is 42 here. And then multiplying, we get the product over here as 1848 centimeters square as the lateral surface area of cylinder. So this was the basic introduction on lateral surface area of cylinder. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdjacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.